Now we get this final cutscene, I think. Or do we fight Mecha Ghidorah now? Yeah, we fight we fight Mecha Ghidorah. We go through almost every monster in the game. Monsters fight. You also block with the Y button. Uh, what? Is that supposed to be Hedora? Uh, I guess it was. The Smog Monster. Or as James Rolfe said, a giant whale turd. <laughs> yep, that's him. Hmm, that's interesting. I, di I didn't realize... I don't know if that that creature was made playable uh, in any of these game sequels. <laughs> but there he is. Hmm. You are given a lot of range uh, to walk around. Oh, come on. And of course, characters like Rodan and Ghidorah, they can fly. And Gigan even can teleport, which is interesting. Oh, another rage. Another rage pickup. That's just handy dandy. There we go. He's down for the count. And I'll, and now, now the cutscene I thought I was talking about should be here. Yeah. And this is the final final fight with the worst Mecha Godzilla design of the three. <laughs> I guess four now, but oh, I sh accidentally shut my controller off. And whoop. We'll say, hopefully we can get another film in this, another go Western Godzilla film in general, but uh, hopefully uh, they'll consider doing Mecha Godzilla because I think that's one of the more entertaining antagonists of the series. It's a robot version of Godzilla. What? That's fun. You know? like this final stage it's kind of interesting very science fiction -y. oh I'm not going down without a fight come on we're going over here we're being mean we're going over here we're gonna have a fun time
There we go. With a mighty roar, we save the day. As we are beamed back to Earth. You Godzilla, ultimate weapon and escape. You have defeated us. Your planet has been thwarted for now, but we will return, Earthly. We will us and our plan nine from outer space saucers will return. But anywho, that's the game. Uh, and like any true arcade game, you just end, you put in your initials, these are mine, I guess, and you save, and that's it. And then the credits play. Godzilla Melee, developed by Pipework Software Inc. And look at all these wonderful individuals that contributed to this game. Wasn't that nice of them? So, yeah, this is um, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. It was released in 2002 uh, for the GameCube, and... Uh, was also given a port with sub supplemental content uh, in 2003 for the Xbox, the original Xbox. And um, I think it's, like I said, I think it's really solid. I think it's one of the better Godzilla games, or better kaiju games out there. And I think that's what makes it pretty good and pretty great and pretty important. So, um, yep. It wasn't, sadly, I don't think there's a re-release anywhere. Like, like you can't get it on like I don't know so. is it playing the Godzilla theme oh, I think it is I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to be careful about that but anywho lots of fan service here yep Godzilla's theme composed by Kira Ifukube. Yep. Toho. So yeah, that's the title. Do I have to press a button? Okay. Do I have to press a button? Anywho, what do you think about this video? Does this Godzilla uh, film, Godzilla game look pretty cool to you? Do you think it's, do you agree with me with it being a pretty cool game? Leave a comment down below. And if you like the video, please uh, be sure to give the uh, video a like and maybe even subscribe where I will continue talking about Godzilla until the year ends <laughs> and no one cares anymore. But anywho, hey, I'm Maximum Austin and until next time, always remember to keep being confident and you enjoy your game. You enjoy your day. <laughs> you enjoy your, uh, it is Pride Month, so enjoy your, uh, your, uh, gay, I guess. Godzilla says trans rights. Um, so yeah, I will see you next time. Thank you. And I'm sorry about the mic bump.